It's been requested for months, and with the arrival of Baku Aku Sentai Boom Boomger this weekend, I thought no better time to do a viewing guide on how to watch Super Sentai. It's Morphin Time! Special shout out to all our channel members, including our Captain Tears, Infinity War Torn, Spin Dash 54, Super Shadix Boom, Toma K, MJ Klein, Infinite 1985, SSJ4 Jason, Oma Ender, Scrub Lord Gaming, Psycho O's, and Kyle. You can join in the join button down below and find out more details for perks, including early access. Hello, this is Sand here, and welcome to my Super Sentai viewing guide. I have done several viewing guides on the channel so far for multiple franchises. And the way these work is we go through a franchise's history and talk about every series, movie, and special that I think is important and put it in the proper chronological order so that you know what order to watch things in and break down these very large franchises. Everybody's enjoyed the ones in the past, but they keep asking, when's Super Sentai? So today we're going to be answering that question. In fact, this is going to be the longest viewing guide, I think. Star Trek was pretty lengthy because that's also an incredibly long-running series, but unlike Star Trek, Super Sentai has been running consistently for 49 years on television. And I mean every single year. There is basically no gaps, and there are also spin-offs, and there are a lot of movies and specials, and there's a lot of people that pop up in other things, so this is going to be a lengthy guide. While this will be a lengthy guide, it will not be a 100% complete guide. Much like Kamen Rider, there is so many supplementary things to Super Sentai that I don't think is relevant to this video. I kind of want to streamline the experience. There's a lot of stuff that's not canon, there's a lot of stuff that is compilation movies, or episodes turned into movies without any additional material, just, you know, reframed. That kind of stuff we're leaving off. We're also leaving off crossovers with the Kamen Rider series, much like how I left crossovers with Super Sentai off the Kamen Rider one. I may go back and do like a Kamen Rider and Super Sentai crossover guide because there's so many of them, but it simplifies the process if you're not worried about what's happening in another franchise. However, there are a couple exceptions. Two of the Kamen Rider crossovers will be mentioned in this as they tie into Super Sentai numbered episodes, and we will be talking about the Metal Hero crossovers because the Metal Hero franchise is a separate franchise, but it seems to exist within Sentai continuity because a lot of the Metal Hero characters show up in it. So those we will mention because that just makes the most sense. I will also be mentioning when actors return in cameos or special appearances in later series. However, I will not be including voice-only cameos, as those just don't seem relevant, and I won't be including villains returning without their teams, because that just adds a layer of complication to not only the notes, but the video overall. Now, the Commander Ultraman, I mentioned what shows and movies were available legally as I mentioned them. But with Super Sentai, because of the length of this guide, I want to simplify it by just telling you up front. Sentai's 14 through 28, Five Man through Decker Ranger, have been officially released in Region 1 by Shout Factory on DVD. Almost all of these are available on the Tokushatsu streaming platform, with the exception of Five Man, Abba Ranger, and Decker Ranger. Yes, if you want to know more about these shows, you go into it as the guide, but I figure let's just mention this now and get it out of the way. Now, of course, you may never have heard of Super Sentai, and this is your first experience with the franchise, and so I want to make sure you have an idea what Super Sentai is going in. First of all, Super Sentai may be familiar to you as the Japanese series which footage was used for the American adaptation Power Rangers. And you've probably also seen my Power Rangers guide if you follow the channel close enough. Power Rangers uses footage of Super Sentai for almost every series that it adapts, and it is taking the same idea and aspect but switching out the actors for, you know, American actors or New Zealand actors and kind of giving it a more international feel. Where Super Sentai is more localized to Japan in the way its culture works. So it's basically, you know, two sides of the same coin, and both exist independently of each other because of that, though they do share footage. So I will be mentioning which Super Sentai seasons were adapted into Power Rangers throughout the guide, so that way if you like, oh, I really love Power Rangers Ninja Storm, what Sentai used its footage, you can know that it's an Inpu Sentai Hurricaneer. That sort of idea. So the core tenets of Super Sentai is that it's usually a team of five people, usually young people, sometimes a nice mix. Sentai has a lot of older rangers in its teams, and they fight evil and whatever domineering evil forces of Malk. There's different forms of villains throughout the franchise, but the idea is that five people come together and they fight monsters. This is the core staple, but teams can be different sizes, as we will see as we go along. Beginning in 1992 with Kyoryu Sentai G-Ranger, it was common for a sixth member of the team to be added, and almost every series after that has a sixth ranger. Though some have more than six, we use the term sixth ranger to denote 
the additional ranger that comes in, even if they're sometimes the fifth. It's a little weird and the terminology gets confusing, so I'm going to try to refrain from confusing new audiences. Also starting with the third Super Sentai Battle Fever J, every Sentai team gets giant robot fights. The super robot genre sort of merges in with the Sentai genre to make Super Sentai. And so because of that, there are going to be giant robots in every series from the third Sentai onwards. And that is one of my favorite aspects because I really do love giant combining robots. Now Sentai is about teamwork, learning to work together, fighting together for a common good. And sometimes that causes friction within the team building. It's not so much about the individual excelling over others, but the group working together and that's one of my favorite parts of Super Sentai and what makes it different from something like Kamen Rider where there is a main focus on one Kamen Rider with a supporting cast Sentai is typically a group effort though the Reds sometimes take the lead because in storytelling you do kind of need a lead character but it's sort of like how the captain in a Star Trek series takes the lead the Red kind of takes the lead of the team but sometimes the lead is a different character but you'll still see the Red as kind of like the prominent figure because it's really consistent when they bring all the Reds together for an anniversary and in general, Super Sentai is appropriate for younger kids. So if you have kids in your life and you want to introduce them to something that's really fun and exciting, Super Sentai might be their thing. And if they don't speak Japanese, the English subtitles that do exist, both officially and for fan subs for the shows that haven't been licensed, are a good way to do that. Sentai is meant to be all ages, enjoyed by everybody, and that is really cool. There are some exceptions, and there is some more uh, mature-aimed Sentai content, which we will talk about specifically, and I will call out. Now, with all that said, we have to get the ground running. There are 48 official Sentai and two spin-off shows, which means we have 50 series to talk about. We have to get this thing rolling, and it's time. But before we do that, I would please ask you to hit the like button, hit subscribe and notification bell if you haven't already, because this will help the video get out to more people so that more people can enjoy and love Super Sentai. So now, let's begin the Super Sentai Viewing Guide. The first Super Sentai series is known as Himitsu Sentai Go Ranger. The theme of this series is a secret squadron of heroes. The premise, the evil Black Cross Army has destroyed the defense organization Eagle, aside from five members who have become Himitsu Sentai Go Ranger to stop them. This is where the core tenets of Super Sentai were born, five people working together to fight evil. The series aired from 1975 to 1977 and lasting for 84 episodes, making it the longest Super Sentai series to date. During the show's run, the 1976 film Himitsu Sentai Go Ranger The Bomb Hurricane takes place after episode 56 and tells a new story. Now after the series, and after the second Super Sentai Jaka Dengeki Tai aired, there was Himitsu Sentai Go Ranger vs. Jaka Dengeki Tai, the 1978 film that works as a finale to Jaka but brings back at least one of the Go Rangers. Momo Ranger returns and the other four are only there via voice cameos. But it was the first idea of two Super Sentai series, the previous one and the current one, crossing over and teaming up to take down a new threat something the Super Sentai series would adopt as an annual tradition later down the line. Now, while in later years there weren't many Go Rangers appearing in future media, Aka Ranger did pop up a few times. In 2011, we saw the return of Aka Ranger in Go Kaiger Go Sager 199 Hero Battle, which was the first on screen appearance of the character since the series had ended. Aka Ranger would later return in Kaizgo Sentai Go Kaiger's final episode, episode 51. And most recently in 2021, Aka Ranger was in the Hikai Sentai Zen Kaiger Red Battle All Sentai Rally movie, which was a cool appearance for the anniversary of the series. The second Super Sentai series was Jaka Dengeki Tai. The theme of this series is playing cards, cyborgs, and crime fighters. The premise. In order to fight the organization crime, Interpol creates a team of four cyborg agents known as Jekka Dengeki Tai. This series aired in 1977, lasting for 35 episodes. It was sadly canceled before completing its entire run, as the tone of the series in the beginning was incredibly dark for what was supposed to be a kid's show, and it eventually tried to pivot into a light-hearted series in the later half, with the introduction of the first additional ranger added to a team, Big One, and unfortunately they weren't quite ready to pull that off, and the series did come to a premature end. However, a finale movie was produced in 1978, which was the aforementioned Jacka vs. Go Ranger, being a crossover with Jacka and Go Ranger. Now, the legacy of Jacka does not end there. In 2001, in Hyakuju Sentai Gal Ranger vs. Super Sentai, Big One returned with his original actor as the first time he'd been on screen since the original Jacka series. And 10 years later, in 2011, in the movie I'm going to refer to as 199 Heroes from here on out so I don't burn myself out, Big One did return for another cameo, which was nice to see him again. 
The third Super Sentai series, Battle Fever J, has a theme of people from different countries. The premise, five people who have been training in different countries around the world return to Japan in order to become Battle Fever J and fight the secret society known as Egos. Now this series ran from 1979 to 1980, lasting for 52 episodes, and is kind of the kickoff point to Super Sentai as we know it, as Battle Fever J introduced Battle Fever Robo, introducing the giant robot concept to Super Sentai that will become a staple from here on out. Now, while not getting any crossover movies, Battle Kenya made his return in episode 44 of Kaizuko Sentai Gokaiger in 2011, and also reappeared in Kaizuko Sentai Gokaiger vs. Space Sheriff Gavan in 2012, and that was mostly done because Kenji Oba plays Battle Kenya, Denji Blue, and Space Sheriff Gavan. Man's a legend. But that was how Super Sentai closed out the 70s. It's time to transition to the 80s. Starting off the 80s is the fourth Super Sentai, Denshi Sentai Denji Man. The theme here is Electric Warriors. The premise, the Vader clan destroyed the Denji star. Now, 3,000 years later, Denji Dog IC finds five young people of Earth to fight the evil organization known as the Vader clan as Denshi Sentai Denji Man. Now, this series did last for 51 episodes from 1980 to 1981, and it had a movie during the series, Denshi Sentai Denji Man, the movie, taking place after episode 24. Now, while also not having a crossover film, in 2011 saw the return of Denji Blue in the 199 Heroes movie, and he also returned for 2012's Kaizuko Sentai Gokaiger vs. Space Sheriff Gavan, once again, because they wanted to put the three Kenji Obas together. The fifth Super Sentai series, Taiyo Sentai Sun Vulcan. This had an air land and sea theme and features, to date, the only Super Sentai team to be an all-male team with only three members. The premise, to confront the Machine Empire Black Magma, the EPDS chooses a member of the Air Force, the Navy, and the Ground Forces to become Taiyo Sentai Sun Vulcan. The series lasted for 50 episodes between 1981 and 1982, and you're starting to see that most series are about 50 episodes, which is the case, and had a 1981 movie, Taiyo Sentai Sun Vulcan the Movie, taking place after episode 24. In 2012, for Kaizuko Sentai Go Kaiger's finale, there was a returning character. If you don't want spoilers for Sun Vulcan, skip ahead a few seconds here until you see the next title card. In Gokaiger's 49th and 51st episodes, the second Vol Eagle returned, because Sun Vulcan did have a second Vol Eagle, it's the only time a red has been replaced partway through the series, and he returned for two episodes. The sixth Super Sentai, Dai Sentai Goggle 5. The theme of this one? Technology. The premise of the series, the Future Science Laboratory fights against the Dark Science Empire Death Dark by forming Dai Sentai Goggle 5. The series lasted for 50 episodes between 1982 and 1983. The 1982 movie, Dai Sentai Goggle 5, the movie, takes place after episode 6 of the series. And Goggle Black returned in 2011 during the 199 Heroes movie. The seventh series, Kagaku Sentai Dynaman. The theme is science and explosions, because the series was known for introducing large-scale pyrotechnic explosions that glow orange as opposed to, like, dust explosions that the previous series used. The premise of the series? A team of five inventors become Kagaku Sentai Dynaman to stop the Jashinka Empire from taking over the world. Lasting from 1983 to 1984, the series had 51 episodes, with the 1983 Kagaku Sentai Dynaman the movie taking place after episode 5. And in 2011, Dyna Pink returned in the 199 Heroes movie. The 8th Sentai series, Chodenshi Bioman. The theme here is science. The premise. Centuries ago, five people were sprinkled with bioparticles. Now in the present day, their descendants become Chodenshi Bioman to fight the Neo Empire gear. Now, Chodenshi Bioman itself lasted for 51 episodes from 1984 to 1985, and the 1984 movie, Chodenshi Bioman the movie, takes place after episode 24. In addition to this, in 2011, Red One returned in the 199 Heroes movie. This series might be recognizable to Power Rangers fans, because this was the first series that Saban Productions tried to adapt into Power Rangers. The Bioman pilot is infamously lost, but there are materials to prove that this was a thing. The ninth Sentai, Dengeki Sentai Change Man. The theme of this series was mythical animals. The premise of the series, the great Starly Gozma is attacking Earth. To combat this threat, the Earth Defense Force chooses people from different military branches to become Dengeki Sentai Change Man. This series lasted a whopping 55 episodes, making it one of the longest Sentai shows, airing from 1985 to 1986. It had two movies in 1985. The first one, Dengeki Sentai Change Man the movie, takes place after episode 5. And the second film, Dengeki Sentai Change Man Shuttle Base Crisis, takes place after episode 23. In 2012, Change Griffin returned in Kaizuko Sentai Gokaiger episode 49. The 10th Sentai, Cho Shensei Flashman. The theme of this series? Space. 
The premise, 20 years ago, five children were kidnapped by alien hunters. Once rescued, each of these children were trained on different planets in the Flash solar system. They returned to Earth in 1986 as Cho Sensei Flashman to fight the reconstructive experiment Empire mess. This series lasted for 50 episodes between 1986 and 1987, and also featured Cho Sensei Flashman the movie in 1986, taking place after episode 2. In 2012, Green Flash returned in Kaizuka Sentai Gokaiju episode 49. The 11th Super Sentai series, Hikari Sentai Mask Man, with a theme of martial arts. The premise, the Royal Underground Empire Tube were once pacifists until Zeba takes the throne. In order to combat Tube's plan to conquer the world, five people are recruited to be trained in the art of Aura Power. These five people become Hikari Sentai Mask Man. This series with its martial arts focus lasted 51 episodes from 1987 to 1988. There also was a movie in 87, Hikari Sentai Mask Man the movie, taking place after episode 19. Blue Mask returned in 2012 in Kaizuka Sentai Gokaiju episode 49. The 12th Sentai series, Choju Sentai Live Man. The theme of this series is animals. The premise of the series, Academia Island's top three students feel that their talents are wasted. On the night they leave to join the evil Volt organization, five of their classmates attempt to stop them. However, two of them are killed and the remaining three must complete the research that they started with their friends to become Choju Sentai Live Man. Live Man takes a darker approach to the Sentai concept because uh, I just explained what happens in the first episode. That's not any other spoilers beyond that. It's put in the opening as well. Sentai for the remaining of the 80s was kind of taking some darker situations, but was a little bit zanier, not super serious. Live Man does take a more serious approach while still having kind of that wackiness of the 80s, and there certainly is lighter-hearted episodes, but there was a lot of emotional depth and struggle that wasn't seen with previous shows. In addition to that, while the team started with three members, two additional members were added later in the series, which was a different approach. While we had seen Big One added to Jacka, we really hadn't seen a team grow in size that significantly, but this would become a common trend in later series. Live Man lasted 49 episodes between 1988 and 1989. In 2001, Red Falcon would return in Hyakuju Sentai Gal Ranger vs. Super Sentai. And in 2011, Yellow Lion would return in Kaizuka Sentai Gokaiju episode 30. The 13th Sentai, Kokuso Sentai Turbo Ranger. The theme of this series was vehicles. The premise, the fairy race sealed away the evil Boma tribe 20,000 years ago. In the modern day, pollution has caused fairy magic to weaken and the Boma tribe escaped their seal. The last remaining fairy chooses five high school students to become Kosoku Sentai Turbo Ranger. This would be the first series to be set in high school with high school students as the Sentai team, but it would not be the last. This series would also see a continuation of Live Man's idea of having emotional struggles between the heroes and the villains. The series aired for 51 episodes between 1989 and 1990, with the 1989 movie Kokuso Sentai Turbo Ranger the movie taking place after episode 4, and in 2011, Red Turbo returned for the 199 Heroes movie. Now, as we enter the 90s for Super Sentai, tonal variety becomes a theme. There's going to be some shows that are more serious, some more wacky, so I'm going to try to point them out as we go along, so that way you kind of know what show you're looking for. The 14th Super Sentai, Chikyu Sentai 5 Man. The theme? Space. The premise? Hiroshi Midori Hoshikawa. Their five children. Their two adopted alien children and their robot helper Arthur G6 are living peacefully on planet Sedon. Until one day when the Zone Empire attacks leaving Arthur and the five human children as the only survivors. Now, 20 years after they fled to Earth, the five children are now teachers at a school, and they must become Chikyu Sentai Five Man to fight off the Zone Empire's invasion of Earth. This series is wacky. Like, it starts super crazy, as you just heard, and it just keeps getting crazier. This is a zany, zany show. And I have to warn you, it is incredibly zany, and maybe too zany for some people. It lasted for 48 episodes between 1990 and 1991, and Five Yellow returned in 2012 for Kaizuka Sentai Gokaiju episodes 49 and 51. The 15th Sentai, Chojin Sentai Jetman. The theme of this series is birds, and taking the aesthetic of Gachaman. The premise, Sky Force protects peace on Earth. Five people are chosen to be imbued with birdonic waves to become superhuman. Unfortunately, after one candidate was transformed into Red Hawk, the Dimensional War Party Viram attacks, killing the other four candidates. Viram also destroyed the machine with the birdonic waves, sending them down to Earth and hitting four random people. Now the commander of Sky Force and Red Hawk must find the four people hit with those birdonic waves so they can become Chojin Sentai Jetman. This series takes a bit of a darker, more drama approach tone. There's some more soap opera elements involved, and it's more of a character-driven story than anything, 
which also makes it stand out from other Super Sentai series that may be more comedy focused. It ran for 51 episodes between 1991 and 1992, and Black Condor returns in episode 28 of Kaizuko Sentai Gokaiger in 2011. The 16th Super Sentai, Kyoryu Sentai Jurenja. Theme of this series is dinosaurs, the first of many. The premise. Five warriors from the ancient past are revived after Witch Bandora has been freed from her prison. The ancient battle continues on modern day Earth with Kyoryu Sentai Jurenja. The series has a more light and comedic tone as it has just kind of some wacky monsters week to week, but there are some darker themes underlying. Jurenja itself lasted 50 episodes between 1992 and 1993. Mammoth Ranger returned in 2012 in Kaizuka Sentai Gokaiger episodes 50 and 51. And in 2014, during Juden Sentai Kyoryuja vs. Go Busters, Tyranno Ranger returned, with the other four main Jew Rangers returning as voice cameos, bringing together all three generations of Dino Sentai at the time. Most famously, if you haven't recognized it already, this was adapted into Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 1, and the Jew Ranger suits becoming the Mighty Morphin suits for all three seasons. The 17th Sentai, Gosei Sentai Dai Ranger. The theme? Chinese martial arts. The premise? In the past, a war broke out between the Dai, Shura, and Gomra tribes. At the end of the war, the Dai and Gorma trides disappeared. Now in the modern day, Gorma has revived and Master Kaku chooses five people with high levels of key energy in order to form Gosei Sentai Dai Ranger to stop them. This series takes a darker approach, more serious, grounded realism, with some wacky, goofy action and comedy, because it is inspired by a lot of Hong Kong martial arts films. It lasted for 50 episodes between 1993 and 1994, and in 1993 there was a movie, Gosei Sentai Dai Ranger the Movie, taking place after episode 8. In 2011, in the 199 Heroes movie, Ryu Ranger returned, and Ryu Ranger appeared once again in Kaizuka Sentai Gokaiger episode 33. In addition to that, Tenma Ranger and Kirin Ranger returned in episode 51 of Gokaiger, bringing in half the team to that series. This series was partially adapted into Power Rangers season 2, with the Zords, the Monsters, and the White Ranger coming from its footage. The 18th Sentai, Ninja Sentai Kaku Ranger. The theme? Ninjas, the first of many. Premise. The great war between the yokai and the ninja ended when five great ninja warriors sealed the yokai away. Now 400 years later, the surviving yokai tricked two descendants of the great ninja into opening the sealed door and unleashing the yokai. Now all five descendants of the great ninja warriors must become Ninja Sentai Kaku Ranger to stop the yokai. This series' tone is wacky, off the walls, and super zany, but it also has some dark underlying themes. Kind of a common occurrence in the 90s. Kaku Ranger was also notable for having a non-red leader in the form of Ninja White. Even though red takes the center stage in roll calls and such, white is technically the leader of the team. Kaku Ranger lasted 53 episodes between 1994 and 1995. Ninja Sentai Kaku Ranger the movie in 1994 takes place after episode 8. The Kaku Rangers would return after their show in 1996 for Choiki Sentai O Ranger, Ole vs. Kaku Ranger. And this film would become the first of an ongoing series of annual vs. crossover movies. In 2011, for Kaizuka Sentai Go Kaiger episode 45 through 46, Ninja Man returned, with Ninja White returning in episode 46. In 2015's Shuriken Sentai Nin Ninja episodes 6 and 7, Ninja Red returned, uniting the three generations of Ninja Sentai at the time. And most recently in 2021, during the Kikai Sentai Zen Kaiger spin off, Zen Kai Red great introduction in the second half ninja white made a cameo this series was adapted into power rangers where the monsters and zords were used for season three of mighty morphin and the cock rangers themselves became the alien rangers for that miniseries the 19th sentai choriki sentai o ranger the theme ancient civilizations the premise an ancient robot, Bukharas Roth, was created to help humanity, but turned on its creators and was banished from Earth. 600 million years later, Bacchus Roth returns as the ruler of machine empire Baranoia. To combat this, the Ao organization uses the superpower in order to create Chowiki Sentai O-Ranger. So O-Ranger as a series starts out super dark, gets kind of goofy, goes back to being dark, gets kind of goofy again. And the reason for this was because there was multiple national tragedies in Japan that year, and so they kept trying to adjust the tone based on what was going on. O-Ranger itself lasted 48 episodes from 1995 to 1996. 1995's Choriki Sentai O-Ranger the movie takes place after episode 8, with the 1996 movie Choriki Sentai O-Ranger, Olay vs. Kaka Ranger, taking place after episode 33. And in 1997, O-Ranger returned in Gekiso Sentai Car Ranger vs. O-Ranger. O-Red and O-Pink made a return in episodes 31 and 32 of Kaizuko Sentai Gokaiger in 2011. Most of the series footage was adapted into Power Rangers Zio. The 20th Sentai, Gekiso Sentai Car Ranger. The theme, vehicles and racing. The premise, Planet Hazard has been destroyed by the reckless driving tribe Bozok. A survivor of the planet, Dapu, takes the knowledge of car magic to Earth to form a defense against the incoming Bozok attack. He finds five people working at the Pegasus Garage and chooses them to become Gekiso Sentai Car Ranger. The tone of this series is very wacky, heavy comedy, very lighthearted, 
almost to the point of self-parody, but not quite a parody. It is a legitimate Sentai, but it does poke fun at some of the tropes of the Super Sentai series that existed to that point. And Car Ranger lasted for 48 episodes between 1996 and 1997. 1997's Gekiso Sentai Car Ranger vs. O-Ranger takes place after episode 38. Car Ranger would return in 1998 with Denji Sentai Mega Ranger vs. Car Ranger. And Red Racer would return in episode 14 of Kaizuko Sentai Go Kaiger. This series was adapted into Power Rangers Turbo. Sentai 21, Denji Sentai Mega Ranger. The theme is space, technology, and video games. The premise, five students of the Digital Research Club at the Moriboshi High School are recruited by the iNet company to test the Mega Ranger video game. When the Nezi Reza attack the iNet facility, Dr. Kubota reveals the Mega Ranger video game was actually a training program to find people with skills to become Denji Sentai Mega Ranger. The tone of this series is mostly comedic with some darker elements, but pretty lighthearted overall. Mega Ranger lasts for 51 episodes from 1997 to 1998. And movies wise, Denji Sente Mega Ranger vs. Car Ranger takes place after episode 39. And the Mega Rangers would return for 1999's Seiju Sentai Ginga Man vs. Mega Ranger. In 2001, Mega Pink would return for Hyakuju Sentai Gao Ranger vs. Super Sentai. And Mega Red would return in 2011's Kaizuko Sentai Gokaiger, episode 39. This was adapted into Power Rangers in Space in 1998. Sentai 22 is Seiju Sentai Ginga Man. The theme is animals and nature. The premise, the ball band space pirates invaded Earth and the warriors of the Ginga Forest were able to imprison them. 3,000 years later, the 133rd generation of the warriors has been chosen. However, during the ceremony, an earthquake breaks the seal and frees the ball band. The new warriors have to become Seiju Sentai Ginga Man or to fight the ball band space pirates. Ginga Man is a more serious Sentai overall because the stakes are high. It's a fight for the planet and the environment. Ginga Man lasted 50 episodes from 1998 to 1999. In 1999, Seiju Sentai Ginga Man vs. Mega Ranger came out, and the best place to place this is after the Ginga Man series as opposed to during it. And Ginga Man would return in 2000's QQ Sentai Go Go 5 vs. Ginga Man. Ginga Blue would make a return in 2001's Hyakuju Sentai Gao Ranger vs. Super Sentai. And in 2011, Ginga Red and Black Knight would return in Kaizo Sentai Go Kaiger episode 20. It was also adapted into Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. 23rd Sentai, QQ Sentai Go Go 5. The theme, Rescue. The premise, the planets have aligned and Grand Witch Grandine has resurrected. Her children have descended to Earth to prepare for her invasion. However, Professor Tatsumi predicted this event 10 years prior and left his family in order to develop the rescue system. Now he has returned and given his five children the power to become QQ Sentai Go Go 5. The tone of this series is definitely more serious as there is a lot of family drama with the five siblings and their distant father. Lasted for 50 episodes between 1999 and 2000, and featured a direct-to-video movie in 1999, QQ Sentai Go Go 5, Sudden Shock, A New Warrior, taking place after episode 18. In 2000, QQ Sentai Go Go 5 vs. Ginga Man released, taking place after episode 31, and Go Go 5 would return in 2001's Mirai Sentai Time Ranger vs. Go Go 5. Go Yellow would return in 2001 for Hyakuju Sentai Gao Ranger vs. Super Sentai, and in 2011, Go Pink returned in Gaizuko Sentai Go Kaiger episode 23, and Go Green returned in episode 51. The series was adapted into Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue, into the new millennium with the 24th Sentai, Mirai Sentai Time Ranger. The theme is time travel and technology. The premise. Don Dolnero has traveled illegally from the 30th century into the present day. Four cadets of the Time Protection Department are in pursuit. Now in the year 2000, the cadets recruit someone from the present day to become the fifth member and unlock the Chrono Changers. The mission of Mirai Sentai Time Ranger begins here. This is definitely more of a serious show dealing with a lot of elements of time travel and consequences. And the series lasted for 51 episodes from 2000 to 2001. Also in 2001, Mirai Sentai Time Ranger vs. Go Go 5, taking place after episode 35. Now the Time Rangers did not return for a versus movie the following year, and in fact wouldn't make any future appearances until 2011, where Time Yellow appeared in episode 40 of Kaizuko Sentai Go Kaiger. And I assure you that if you watch Time Ranger, you need to see that episode. It's essentially an epilogue to the series. Time Ranger was adapted into Power Rangers Time Force. Celebrating 25 years of Super Sentai, Hyakuju Sentai Gao Ranger. The theme, animals. The premise, a war between humanity and the Org race raged a thousand years ago. The Gao warriors and power animals were able to defeat the Orgs and seal them away. In the present day, the Orgs have revived and a new team of warriors is needed. Five people are chosen by the power animals and have to leave their lives behind in order to become Hyakuju Sentai Gao Ranger. This is definitely a lighter series with darker themes, a good mix of comedy and drama. And the series itself lasted for 51 episodes between 2001 and 2002. In 2001, Hyakuju Sentai Gao Ranger vs. Super Sentai, taking place after episode 14. This was to celebrate the 25th anniversary and featured the first Sentai Dream Team made up of past members. We have mentioned the Dream Team members before, let's put them all together. Big One from Jacka, Red Falcon from Live Man, Mega Pink from Mega Ranger, Ginga Blue from Ginga Man, 
and Go Yellow from Go Go 5. The five of them would help mentor the Gow Rangers and help them become better heroes. Now later that year, the Gow Rangers got a movie which would start to become a tradition, the summer film, and that was the Fire Mountain Roars, taking place after episode 40. And in 2003, the Gow Rangers would return for Ninpu Sentai Hurricane vs. Gow Ranger. 2011 saw the return of Gao Red in Episode 9 of Kaizgo Sentai Gyokaiger, and Gao Red would return yet again in Episode 2 of Super Sentai Strongest Battle in 2019. Gao Ranger was adapted into Power Rangers Wild Force. 26 Sentai Ninpu Sentai Hurricane would lay the foundation for the 2000 Sentai going forward. A mix of tones and episodes as opposed to a tone overall, but I would say Hurricane is a bit goofier as a series. The theme is ninjas for the second time. The premise, the Hayate Ninja Academy is attacked by the evil space ninja group Chikanja, killing all but three of its students. These three must become Ninpu Sentai Hurricanger in order to combat the threat. But while they are also fighting the Chikanja, the Hurricanger encountered a mysterious duo known as the Go Rigers. Hurricanger has the distinction of having three subsets to its team. The three main Hurricangers, the two Go Rigers, and the lone Shurikanger. And lasted for 51 episodes between 2002 and 2003. 2002's Ninpu Sentai Hurricanger, Shushuto the Movie, takes place after episode 25. And Ninpu Sentai Hurricanger vs. Gao Ranger takes place after episode 30. The Hurricangers would return in 2004 for Bakuru Sentai Abba Ranger vs. Hurricanger, and Hurricane Blue would return as part of a new dream team in 2007's Bokenger vs. Super Sentai. The main three Hurricangers would return for a two-part crossover in Kaizuko Sentai Gokaiger in 2011, episodes 25 and 26. And the entire Hurricanger team would return in 2013 for Ninpu Sentai Hurricanger 10 years after. In 2015, Hurricane Red would return in Shuriken Sentai Nin Ninja for episodes 6 and 7 alongside Ninja Red. And Shurikenger would return in episode 43 of Shuriken Sentai Nin Ninja later that year. Hurricane Blue would also appear in the Hero Mama League special in 2018, uniting three Sentai mothers. And in 2022, Ninpu Sentai Hurricanger with Don Brothers was created in order to promote 2023's Ninpu Sentai Hurricanger De Gozaro Shushuto 20th Anniversary. Hurricane just seems to be really popular because they keep coming back. The series was adapted in Power Rangers Ninja Storm. The 27th Sentai, Bakuryu Sentai, Abba Ranger. The theme, dinosaurs for a second time. The premise, a meteorite crash 65 million years ago supposedly killed off the dinosaurs. It actually split the Earth into two universes, Dino Earth and another Earth. Humans and dinosaurs lived peacefully together on Dino Earth, but were at conflict with the wicked life forms Evolian who came out of that meteor. One fateful day, the two Earths are connected with a portal and the Evolians make their way to another Earth. In order to stop the attack, three people possessing dino guts become Bakuryu Sentai Abba Ranger. An Abba Ranger itself lasted 50 episodes from 2003 to 2004. The Abba Ranger summer movie was The Abba Ray Summer is Freezing Cold, taking place after episode 21. And Bakuryu Sentai Abba Ranger vs. Hurricane takes place after episode 40. The Abba Rangers would return in 2005's Tokuso Sentai Deka Ranger vs. Abba Ranger. Abare Black would return in 2007's Bokenger vs. Super Sentai. Abare Killer would return in episode 18 of Kaizuko Sentai Gokaiger in 2011 with Abare Blue and Pink returning in episode 29 of Gokaiger. In 2014, during Juden Sentai Kyoriger vs. Go Busters, Abba Red and Abare Blue return with Abare Yellow as a voice cameo, uniting the eras of Dino Sentai. In 2023, Bakuryu Sentai Abba Ranger with Don Brothers features a crossover with Abba Ranger Don Brothers, leading into 2023's Bakuryu Sentai Abba Ranger 20th, The Unforgivable Abare. Abba Ranger was adapted in Power Rangers Dino Thunder. The 28th Sentai, Tokuso Sentai Deka Ranger. The theme, Police. The premise, SPD, Special Police Decker Ranger, five detectives to combat space criminal alienizers. The job of a Decker Ranger never truly ends as long as alienizers are still committing crimes. The tone of the series is a mix of styles that's a case of the week show with no major main villain driving force, and Decker Ranger lasted 50 episodes from 2004 to 2005. The summer film, Decker Ranger the Movie, Full Blast Action, takes place after episode 23. 2005's Tokyo Sentai Decker Ranger vs. Abba Ranger takes place after episode 31. And the Decker Rangers would return in 2006 for Maho Sentai Maji Ranger vs. Decker Ranger. Decker Break would return in the 2007 movie Gogo Go Sentai Bokenger vs. Super Sentai. And in 2011, for episode 5 of Kaizo Sentai Gokaiger, Decker Red, Decker Yellow, and Decker Master all return. Decker Pink has a cameo in the 199 Heroes movie in 2011. And in 2015, Tokuso Sentai Decker Ranger, 10 years after, was released, reuniting the entire cast. In 2017, episode 18 of Uchi Sentai Q Ranger featured Decker Red, Decker Green, Decker Pink, and Decker Master as a promotion for upcoming movies. 2017 featured Space Squad Episode 0, Girls in Trouble, seeing Deck Yellow and Deck Pink teaming up with ladies from the Metal Hero series. And that all led up to 2017's Space Squad, Uchu Keiji Gavan vs. Tokuso Sentai Deka Ranger, crossover between Deka Ranger and Space Sheriff Gavan. 2018, Deka Yellow returned in the Hero Mama League special. In 2019, Deka Master returned in Episode 3 of Super Sentai Strongest Battle. 
And in 2024, the Decker Rangers will return yet again for Tokusatsu Sentai Decker Ranger 20th Fireball Booster. The series was adapted into Power Rangers SPD. The 29th Sentai series, Maho Sentai Maji Ranger. This was adapted into Power Rangers Mystic Force. The theme is magic. The premise, 15 years after being imprisoned, the underground Hades Empire and Fernsha have returned. Five siblings are given Maji phones by their mother and now have magic powers and the ability to transform into Maho Sentai Maji Ranger. And Maji Ranger lasted 49 episodes from 2005 to 2006. The summer film, Maho Sentai Maji Ranger the Movie, Bride of Infersha, Maji Maji Gyumruja Jinga, takes place after episode 25. With Maho Sentai Maji Ranger vs. Deka Ranger from 2006 taking place after episode 31. In 2007, Maji Yellow and Maji Shine return for Gogo Sentai Bokenger vs. Super Sentai. In 2011 for Kaizo Sentai Gokaiger, Maji Red returned in Episode 3, and Maji Pink returned in Episode 51. Maji Yellow would make an appearance in Episode 38, Shuriken Sentai Nin Ninja, in 2015. And Maji Pink and Maji Yellow would make an appearance in the 2018 Hero Mama League Special. For the 30th anniversary of Super Sentai, Gogo Sentai Bokenger. It was adapted into Power Rangers Operation Overdrive. The theme is adventurers and treasure hunting. The premise... Relics known as Precious have appeared across the world. In order to prevent negative syndicates from taking these treasures and using them for evil, the Search Guard Successor Foundation developed a special operations team. Five people with different skills were chosen to become Gogo Sentai Bokenger. Bokenger lasts for 49 episodes from 2006 to 2007. The summer film Gogo Sentai Bokenger the movie The Great Precious takes place after episode 28, and Gogo Sentai Bokenger vs. Super Sentai takes place after episode 42 and features a new dream team. Let's go through the dream team once again. We have Hurricane Blue from Hurricanger. Abari Black from Abba Ranger, Decca Break from Decca Ranger, Maji Yellow Maji Shine from Maji Ranger, and introducing a new warrior known as Aka Red, inheriting the spirit of the Red Warriors. Aka Red goes on to have an important role in Kaizuko Sentai Gokaiger. In 2008, the Bokenjers returned for Juken Sentai Geki Ranger vs. Bokenjer. And in 2011, Boken Red returned in episode 21 of Kaizuko Sentai Gokaiger. Plus, Boken Silver returned in 2019 in Super Sentai Strongest Battle, episode 1. The 31st Sentai, Juken Sentai Geki Ranger. The theme is martial arts. The premise, the Beast Fist style of martial arts was made to mimic the abilities of animals. However, the creators of the style disagree with how it should be used. In the present day, three of the creators have formed the Confrontation Beast Fist and have plans for world domination. To stop this threat, the Fierce Beast Fist School chooses three people to become Juken Sentai, Geki Ranger. And the series itself lasted 49 episodes from 2007 to 2008. The summer film, Juken Sentai Geki Ranger, Ne Ne Ho Ho Hong Kong Decisive Battle, takes place after episode 9. And the crossover, Juken Sentai Geki Ranger vs. Bokenger, takes place after episode 35. And the Geki Rangers return in 2009 for Engine Sentai Go Onger vs. Geki Ranger. Geki Red will make a return appearance in Kaizuko Sentai Go Kaiger, episode 7. And Melee will return in 2018's Uchi Sentai Q Ranger vs. Space Squad. And in a surprising twist, Miki Masaki and Natsumi Masaki, who are supporting cast in Geki Ranger, returned in Mashin Sentai Kira Major episode 27 in 2020. It's one of the few times that they brought back supporting cast without having to bring back the entire team for a crossover. Jigeki Ranger was adapted at Power Rangers Jungle Fury. The 32nd Sentai, Engine Sentai Go Onger. The theme, talking vehicles. The premise, the engines from Machine World travel to the human world in pursuit of Bonky Clan Gaiark. To combat the threat of Gaiark polluting human world, the engines choose human partners. These humans become Engine Sentai Go Onger. Go Onger is definitely a lighter, wackier series, a lot of goofy elements, which is why when it was adapted to Power Rangers RPM as a more serious show, it was quite the take. This lasted for 50 episodes between 2008 and 2009. The summer film Engine Sentai Go Onger Boom Boom Bang Bang Geki Joe Bang takes place after episode 31. And 2009's Engine Sentai Go Onger vs. Geki Ranger has a continuity problem. There is no way to place it perfectly into continuity without. You know, characters not being where they should be. So if you'd like to watch it, watch it after episode 36. But while there's no conflicts with the Geki Ranger continuity, it doesn't quite slot in as nice as some of the other Versus movies, which have little minor inconsistencies here and there. But there's some major ones, which doesn't let this movie slot into the Go-Onger timeline properly. But the Go-Ongers would return in 2010 for Samurai Sentai Shinkenger vs. Go-Onger Gin Makubang. Go-On Yellow returns in the 199 Heroes movie in 2011. Go-On Yellow and Go-On Silver return in Kaizuka Sentai Gokaiju the movie The Flying Ghost Ship, also in 2011. Go-On Red and several of the engines would return for a two-parter in Gokaiju episodes 35 and 36. And Go-On Silver appeared at the end of Gokaiju episode 51. And in 2018, the Go-Ongers reunited in Engine Sentai Go-Onger 10 Years Grand Prix. And in 2019, Go-On Red appeared once again in Super Sentai Strongest Battle, Episode 1. The 33rd Sentai, Samurai Sentai Shinkenger. The theme, Samurai. The premise, 
For 17 generations, samurai warriors have been fighting against the Gadoshu of the Sanzu River. The 17th head of the Shiba clan makes a sacrifice to steal the Gadoshu's leader, and a time of peace ensues. Many years later, the Gadoshu rise once again, and the 18th generation of samurai sentai Shinkenji must rise to fight back the Gadoshu invasion. Shinkenji lasted for 49 episodes between 2009 and 2010. Now here's where things get complicated. Samurai Sentai Shinkenger crossed over with Kamen Rider Decade. I didn't mention Shinkenger crossing over with Decade because you could watch the Decade episodes completely standalone of watching Shinkenger. However, because they were airing at the exact same time, episodes 24 through 25 of Decade are the Shinkenger crossover. Episode 20 of Shinkenger leads directly into that crossover. And episode 21 of Shinkenger takes place during that crossover. So you're going to be missing some context. While you could just go in blind and not worry about it, I did want to mention that that's what the context of that crossover is, is decade episodes 24 through 25. On more straightforward fronts, the summer movie, Shinkenger The Fateful War, takes place after episode 24. In 2010, Samurai Sentai Shinkenger vs. Goanja Gin Makubang takes place after episode 35. In 2010, we also got the first Sentai Returns movie, which would be an annual tradition for a while, bringing back the cast. So come back, Samurai Shintai Shinkenger special act takes place after episode 43. In 2011, Shinkenger would return for Tensa Sentai Gosager vs. Shinkenger epic on the Ginmaku. In 2011, Princess Shinken Red would return for episodes 11 and 12 of Kaizuka Sentai Gokaiger. And Shinken Green and Shinken Gold would return for the 199 Heroes movie that same year. This was adapted into Power Rangers Samurai and Power Rangers Super Samurai. So we enter the 2010s, the ongoing changing of themes every year continues. With the 34th Sentai, Tenso Sentai Gosager. The theme is Angels. The premise, the Gosei Angels of Gosei World protect Earth from dangerous elements. However, the Universal Annihilation Army Warstar invades Earth and destroys the Tower of Heaven, severing the connection between Earth and Gosei World. Five young Gosei angels in disguise were visiting Earth when the tower was destroyed. Now they must become Tenso Sentai Gosei to combat the threats to Earth. It lasted for 50 episodes between 2010 and 2011. Its summer movie, Tenso Sentai Gosei Epic on the Movie, takes place after episode 22. In 2011's Tenso Sentai Gosager vs. Shinkenger Epic on the Ginmaku takes place after episode 32. In 2011, the Gosagers returned and come back. Tenso Sentai Gosager last epic, the Gosei Angels are national idols, taking place after the series. And the Gosagers would return in 2011's Gokaiger Gosager Super Sentai 109 Hero Great Battle. It was adapted into Power Rangers Mega Force and a couple episodes of Super Mega Force. To celebrate the 35th anniversary of Super Sentai, it's Kaizuko Sentai Gokaiger, the theme being pirates. The premise The Universal Empire Zongyak attacks Earth with a full scale invasion fleet. The 34 Super Sentai of Earth gather to combat the threat, but in the process of saving Earth, they relinquish their powers. Some time later, a group of space pirates come to Earth in search of the greatest treasure in the universe. These pirates have the power to transform into Super Sentai teams that had given up their power. They are the 35th Sentai, Kaizuko Sentai Gokaiger. But are they going to be heroes that will inherit the will of Super Sentai? The tone of the series is a good mix as it's representing all those Super Sentai. While the Gokaijers are more serious as a team, the series has a mix of styles. Gokaiger is also famous for having cameos and returning characters from all prior 34 Sentai, all of which I have listed up to this point. So now we're kind of caught up where we're at. Gokaiger lasted 51 episodes in 2011 to 2012. The first Gokaiger movie was 2011's Gokaiger Gosager Super Sentai 109 Hero Great Battle, taking place after episode 16. The summer movie was Gokaiger the Flying Ghost Ship, taking place after episode 23. Now, because the Gokaijers had already crossed over the Gosagers, their versus movie slot was a crossover with Uchu Keiji Gavin, or Space Sheriff Gavin from the Metal Hero franchise tying the two franchises together for the first time. The Gokaijers would return in 2013 for Tokume Sentai Go Busters vs. Gokaiger, and they would return yet again in 2016 during Dobutsu Sentai Zuoger episodes 28 through 29. Gokai Red and Yellow would return in Super Sentai Strongest Battle for all four episodes, and in 2021 for the 10th anniversary of Gokaiger, Kaizuko Sentai 10 Gokaiger was released, reuniting the entire team. Gokai Red would appear in the 2022 film Kikai Sentai Zen Kaiger vs. Kira Major vs. Senpaiger, which would lead into the 2022 special Two Kaiser Cross Gokaiger. June Bride is a Tanuki flavor, with Gokai Red, Pink, and Silver returning. This series was also adapted into Power Rangers Super Mega Force, so they took a similar approach to having an anniversary season. The 36th Sentai Tokume Sentai Go Busters went for a different approach, going for leather suits and different vibes. The theme was Special Missions. The premise. Modern living is powered by the resource known as Inetron. Hailing from another dimension, the group known as Vaglas attacks the city to steal the Inetron. In order to protect it, the Energy Management Center forms an elite team of humans and their partner Buddyroids to become Tokume Sentai Go Busters. 
Go Busters lasted 50 episodes from 2012 to 2013. Their summer movie, Go Busters the Movie, Protect the Tokyo Annette Tower, takes place after episode 19. And Go Busters vs. Go Kaiju the Movie takes place after episode 41. After the series was released, an extra movie was made, Tokume Sentai Go Busters Returns vs. Dobutsu Sentai Go Busters. And the Go Busters would return for Juden Sentai Kyoryuja vs. Go Busters, The Great Dinosaur Battle, Farewell Our Eternal Friends. This series would later be adapted into Power Rangers Beast Morphers many, many years after it aired. Now, Go Kaiju had caused a popularity boom for Super Sentai and reignited the hearts of a lot of older fans. So in order to give something to these older fans and something relatable, the spin-off series Hikonen Sentai Akiba Ranger was created. This series aimed at an older audience, not quite a TV mature, probably about a TV 14 in US rating standards, was a series that was themed around delusion. The premise being, there are three people from Akihabara, a Super Sentai diehard fan, a cosplayer who's familiar with Super Sentai, and a martial artist who knows nothing of Super Sentai. Meeting at the Sentai Cafe, the three of them become delusion-powered, unofficial heroes of Akihabara, Hikonen Sentai Akiba Ranger. This is a parody comedy of Super Sentai. It does not take place in the main universe, it features a lot of fourth wall references, and the main character is referencing Super Sentai things, and they make parodies of a lot of stuff. There were two seasons of Akiba Ranger of 13 episodes apiece, one in 2012 and one in 2013. And while there are returning actors from Super Sentai in these, I don't consider them as cameos or returning from the past seasons, because a lot of times they're playing themselves. The 37 Sentai, Juden Sentai Kyoryuger. The theme is dinosaurs for the third time and it's samba music. The premise, in the time of dinosaurs, Earth was attacked by the Dayboss army, leading an invasion. A group of dinosaurs were changed into Jujen Ryu and sealed the Dayboss army away. Now in the modern day, the Dayboss army has thawed out. To combat this, Wise God Torin gathers people capable of helping the Juden Ryu and they become Juden Sentai Kyoryuger. Kyoryuja lasted 48 episodes from 2013 to 2014. The summer movie, Jujin Sentai Kyoryuja Gabarin Show Music, takes place after episode 20. And the versus movie, Jujin Sentai Kyoryuja vs. Go Busters, The Great Dinosaur Battle, Farewell Our Eternal Friends, takes place after episode 36. Kyoryuja would return in 2015 with Russia Sentai Tokyuja vs. Kyoryuja. In 2023, most of the Kyoryuja team returned for a crossover with Osama Sentai King Oger in episodes 32 and 33 of that series. Which would then lead into the 2024 film Osama Sentai King Oger vs. Kyoryuja, seeing the return of the entire team. Also, in 2014, there was a film, Juden Sentai Kyoryuja, 100 Years After, which takes place 100 years after. That's why it's here after all that other stuff, because it's 100 years after the series. Kyoryuja proved to be very popular not only in Japan, but also in South Korea. South Korea dubs Super Sentai into their own version of Power Rangers, but they are dubs. However, in 2017, they produced their own spin-off, Power Rangers Dino Force Brave. Now, Dino Force Brave would actually be a sequel to Kyoryuja, but that version being Power Rangers Dino Force, the dub of Kyoryuja. The show's focus is on a new Kyoryuja team being formed after the Neo D-Boss army arrives on Earth. It would also later be dubbed into Japanese as Juden Sentai Kyoryuja Brave, so two versions exist out there, the Korean Power Rangers Dino Force Brave and the Japanese Juden Sentai Kyoryuja Brave. Same cast in both, just different audio. The 38th Sentai, Russia Sentai Tokyuger. The theme, trains and imagination. The premise, five imaginative people find themselves riding a train on the rainbow line. As they travel from one station to another, they combat the Shadow Line's attempted takeover of those locations. As Russia Sentai Tokyuger, they seem excited and youthful, but what is the secret behind them and where did they come from? It lasted for 47 episodes between 2014 and 2015. Its summer movie, Russia Sentai Tokyuja the movie, Galaxy Line SOS, takes place after episode 20. And they would have a crossover with Kyoryuja, with Russia Sentai Tokyuja vs. Kyoryuja taking place after episode 35. The Tokyujers would return for Shuriken Sentai Nin Ninja vs. Tokyuja the movie, Ninja in Wonderland, in 2016. And Tokyo Go Go would return for four episodes in Super Sentai Strongest Battle in 2019. Taking place after all of that was the 2015 film Russia Sentai Tokyuja Returns Super Nana Go Dreams, which takes place in 2025. The 39th Sentai Shuriken Sentai Nin Ninja. The theme? Ninjas for a third time. The premise? The Igasaki clan defeated evil warlord Genets Kiyoboni 444 years ago. In present days, five cousins of the Igasaki clan are gathered to become Shuriken Sentai Nin Ninja to prevent the return of Kiba Ani and his empire. Nin Ninja lasted for 47 episodes between 2015 and 2016. The summer movie, Shuriken Sentai Nin Ninja the movie, The Dinosaur's Land's Splendid Ninja Scroll, taking place after episode 21. In 2016, they crossed over Tokyuja with Shuriken Sentai Nin Ninja vs. Tokyuja the movie, Ninja in Wonderland, after episode 43. And they would return in 2017 in Dobutsu Sentai Ju Oger vs. Nin Ninja. Taking place after that would be 2016's 
Come back, Shuriken Sentai Nin Ninja, Nin Nin Girls vs. Boys Final Wars. And Aka Ninja would return in 2019 for four episodes of Super Sentai Strongest Battle. This would be adapted into Power Rangers Ninja Steel and Super Ninja Steel. Celebrating the 40th anniversary of Super Sentai, Dobutsu Sentai Juoger. The theme was animals yet again. The premise. A zoologist named Yamato ends up getting lost in Juland, a parallel world within Earth. After befriending four Jumen of Juland, the human world is attacked by Stace outlaw group Death Galleon. Yamato and the Jumen must become Dobutsu Sentai Juoger in order to save both worlds. It lasted for 48 episodes in 2016 to 2017. The summer movie, Dobutsu Sentai Juoger the movie, The Exciting Circus Panic, taking place after episode 22. With 2017's Dobutsu Sentai Juoger vs. Nin Ninja the movie, Super Sentai's Message from the Future, taking place after episode 38. 2017's Dobutsu Sentai Juoger Returns, Give Me Your Life, Earth Champion Tournament, saw the team reunite after the series. And Juo Eagle returned for four episodes of 2019's Super Sentai Strongest Battle. And Juo the World made a brief appearance in 2019's Lupin Ranger vs. Pato Ranger vs. Q Ranger. Having kept most of the same formula for 40 years, Sentai starts to break away a little bit, starting with the 41st series, Uchu Sentai Q Ranger. The theme once again is space. The premise. In a parallel world, Earth and the universe has been taken over by space shogunate Jark Matter. Chosen by the mysterious Kyutama, nine people will become Uchu Sentai Q Ranger. Q Ranger lasted 48 episodes from 2017 to 2018. Their summer movie was Uchu Sentai Q Ranger the movie, Geth Invader Strikes Back which takes place after episode 22. There was a spin-off film called Uchu Sentai Q-Ranger Episode of Stinger taking place after episode 34. In 2019, the Q-Rangers would return for Lupin Ranger vs. Pato Ranger vs. Q-Ranger. And this crossover movie takes place prior to the epilogue in the final episode of Q-Ranger. And then 2018's Uchu Sentai Q-Ranger vs. Space Squad, which saw the Q-Rangers crossing over with the Space Squad made up of several metal heroes, is taking place after the epilogue in 48. And then Saucery Orange returned for four episodes of 2019's Super Sentai Strongest Battle. The series itself would not be adapted directly into Power Rangers, but its Zords and Monsters would be used for Power Rangers Cosmic Fury. The 42nd Sentai is actually two teams, with Kaito Sentai Lupin Ranger versus Keisatsu Sentai Pato Ranger. Officially, they're both counted as Sentai 42, but they are two separate teams. The theme of this series was Thieves versus Police. The premise. Arson Lupin's collection of dangerous items, the Lupin collection has been stolen by the interdimensional crime gang known as Gangler. Two Sentai teams begin chasing the Lupin collection. Kaito Sentai Lupin Ranger want all of the pieces of the Lupin collection in hopes of restoring their loved ones. Keisa Sentai Pat Ranger has been tasked to defeat the Ganglers at any cross and capture any Lupin collection pieces at their convenience. The two teams can be more effective working together, however their clashing ideals lead them to be opposite ends of the conflict. The series lasted for 51 episodes from 2018 to 2019. This series also had several specials that were tied into the series continuity. 2018's The Ultimate Weird Combination is a two-part special, taking place after episode 25, and that leads directly into Kaito Sentai Lupin Ranger vs. Keisato Sentai Pato Ranger on film, which is the movie for the summer. The Keisato Sentai Pato Ranger featuring Ke Kaito Sentai Lupin Ranger, another Pato Nigo, is a flashback story taking place after episode 26. And in 2019, Lupin Ranger vs. Pato Ranger vs. Q Ranger takes place after episode 46, seeing the two teams cross over with Q Ranger. In 2019, Pato and Ichigo appeared in episode 1 of Super Sentai Strongest Battle. And in 2020, taking place after the series, Kishiryu Sentai Ryu Soldier vs. Lupin Ranger vs. Pato Ranger. And in 2022, Lupin Red returned in Kikai Sentai Zen Kaiger vs. Kira Major vs. Senpaiger. So in 2019, after the ending of Lupin Ranger vs. Pato Ranger, the debut of Ryu Soldier was pushed back by four weeks. And in that gap, we got Super Sentai Strongest Battle, a not quite anniversary special, but a crossover event featuring past Super Sentai members. The theme of this was a battle royale as the different Sentai teams were fighting it out. Here's the premise. A mysterious woman named Rita gathers members of Super Sentai teams to invite them to participate in the Super Sentai Strongest Battle tournament. The winner will have any wish they want granted. Who will win? What is the truth behind the battle? And how will these makeshift teams learn to work together? This lasted for four episodes, but there also was a director's cut movie edition that can be found out there. This also had several setups to lead into the next series, Kishi Ryu Sentai Ryu Soldier, with Guy Solg, as well as Ryu Soul Green and Ryu Soul Black. This series did have a focal point of a main dream team made up of five past rangers. We had Juo Eagle from Juo Oger, Gokai Red from Gokai Oger, Aka Ninja from Nin Ninja, Sasori Orange from Q Ranger, and Tokyo Gogo from Tokyo Oger. The 43rd Super Sentai, Kishi Ryu Sentai, Ryu Soldier, the theme being dinosaurs, for the fourth time. The premise, 65 million years ago, the warfare tribe Drijon reigned over the Earth until a meteor approached and left the planet vowing to return. The Ryu Soul tribe who once battled the Drijon stay on Earth along with the dinosaurs known as Kishi Ryu. 
When the Dredon return in modern day, the Ryu Soul Tribe's newest warriors must step up and protect the Earth as Kishi Ryu Sentai Ryu Soldier. Ryu Soldier lasted for 48 episodes from 2019 to 2020. Now, while not required, it is best to watch Super Sentai Strongest Battle as several elements from that lead right into the series. There also was the 2021 special, The Legacy of the Master's Soul, a three-part special that is a prequel to the series, which you can watch prior to watching the show. The summer film, Ryu Soldier the Movie, Time Slip Dinosaur Planet, takes place after episode 14. A special film was released after the series, known as Special Chapter, Memory of Soulmates, taking place after episode 32. And Kishi Ryu Sentai Ryu Soldier vs. Lupin Ranger vs. Pato Ranger takes place after episode 33. And the Ryu Soldiers would return in 2021 for Mashin Sentai Kira Major vs. Ryu Soldier. This was also adapted into both seasons of Power Rangers Dino Fury. It's time to enter the 2020s with the 44th Sentai, Mashin Sentai Kira Major. The theme here? Vehicles and Stones. The premise? Princess Mabushina of Crystallia comes to Earth searching for people with Kira Mentel ability to fight against the Dark Empire Jodenheim that recently attacked her home. These five people bond with the Kira May Stones and become Mashin Sentai Kira Major. The series lasted for 45 episodes from 2020 to 2021. Prior to the series, there was Mashin Sentai Kira Major Episode 0, a prequel film. Mashin Sentai Kira Major the movie, Bebop Dream, taking place after Episode 23. In 2021, we also got Mashin Sentai Kira Major vs. Ryu Soldier, taking place after Episode 26. Kira May Silver would return in 2021's Kaizuko Sentai Tengo Kaiger for a brief cameo that leads into future projects. Those future projects being 2022's Kikai Sentai Zen Kaiger versus Kira Major versus Senpaiger. Now here's where we get something weird with Kira Major. There is a spin-off featuring the villain Yodona, who became very popular with the adult fanbase during the course of the series. In fact, she's one of my favorites as well. And so because of that, four specials have been produced so far featuring Yodona, and they're all marked as adults only and not suitable for children. Uh, having watched them, they're definitely going to be like more of like a a very light, like, you know, 16 to 17 year old age rating is kind of where I'd put them. Not quite like hard R or anything, but definitely not the tone of, of the series. They're a little bit more violent, a little bit more sensual. But there are four of them. 2021's Yodona, 2021's Yodona 2, 2023's Yodona 3, Yodona's Valentine, and the upcoming 2024 Yodona the Final. Uh, these are really fun if you love Yodona. If you don't, yeah, it's probably not anything for you here. Celebrating the 45th anniversary and kicking off a weird experimental age for Sentai, Kikai Sentai Zenkaiger. The theme being machines and robot people. The premise. In a parallel universe, the world of Kikai-topia and the human world have merged suddenly into one. Humans and Kikanoids are learning to live together in peace until the day when the Toji Tendo dynasty of Kikai-topia decides to conquer this world. This is up to Kaito to discover his parents' research of the Super Sentai of other worlds, as well as his ability to transform himself and four others into Kikai Sentai Ginkaiger to stop the Toji Tendo threat. The tone of this series is zany antics. Like, no joke, it's one of the co most comedic sentai you can find, and it, it gets into some zany wackiness. It did last for 49 episodes from 2021 to 2022. The series had multiple movies, beginning with 2021's Kikai Sentai Zen Kaiju the Movie, Red Battle, All Sentai Rally, taking place after episode 6. That led directly into a spin-off special known as Zenkai Red Great Introduction with the mysterious Zenkai Red, and that takes place right after the movie. Now, yet another crossover has a uh, connotation for Sentai where it doesn't for Rider. So there was a crossover between Kamen Rider Saber and Zen Kaiger. And so the way this worked is that Kamen Rider Saber had a special episode called Kamen Rider Saber's Special Chapter, The World Pirate is Coming, Intersecting Worlds. This takes place after Zen Kaiger episode 19, because Zen Kaiger episode 20 is the second part to that crossover. While Saber had a separate special, it was a numbered episode of Zen Kaiger that includes the introduction to a power-up. So yeah, if you're wondering why you don't get part of the story and suddenly two people from Saber's world are in Zen Kaiger, go watch that Saber special. Then taking place after the series, Kikai Sentai Zen Kaiger vs. Kira Major vs. Senpaiger, which leads into the 2022 special, Two Kaiser Cross Go Kaiger, June Bright is a Tanuki flavor. And then after that, 2023's Avatar Sentai Don Brothers vs. Zen Kaiger. Much like how Hikonen Sentai Akiba Ranger was made after the 35th anniversary of Sentai to kind of give a different flavor to the series, another spin-off was created for the 45th anniversary. This was the 2021 series known as The High School Heroes. This series takes place at high school and is done in a J-drama style. The premise? A die-hard Himitsu Sentai Go Ranger fan gathers his fellow high school students to combat the Majin who are possessing people at the school. Modeling his team selections after the personalities and dynamics of Go Ranger, Taisei will discover the true meaning of Super Sentai when the high school's heroes team is fully formed. This lasted for eight episodes that are about 45 minutes in length, and again have a more drama style. It also stars the Japanese boy band B Shonen. 
And this is kind of an interesting series because it has a much lower budget. And so I found that it's actually kind of a grounded, more Showa-esque take, like going back to the original roots of Sentai. High School Heroes is definitely for Sentai fans who are looking for something different, more so than an introduction point. But if you love J-dramas, this might be your gateway into Super Sentai. The 46 Super Sentai, Avataro Sentai Don Brothers. The theme being The Legend of Momotaro. The premise, Momoitaro is a baby found inside a peach shaped basket. 21 years later, the monsters known as the Hitotsuki are being created when humans are overtaken by their inner demons. Taro forms bonds with four other people who have already been chosen to become Avataro Sentai Don Brothers. Meanwhile, three mysterious people known as the Noto travel to this world from their own. Their world is being threatened by the negative energy created by the Hitotsuki. The tone of Don Brothers is insanity. It's chaotic and it's all over the place, but that will be either your jam or it won't be your jam. So it depends on who you are when it comes to Don Brothers. The series lasted for 50 episodes between 2022 and 2023. The first special, Ninpu Sentai Hurricane with Don Brothers taking place after episode 19. Then Bakira Sentai Abba Ranger with Don Brothers also taking place after episode 19. You can watch those back to back in that gap. The summer film, Don Brothers the movie, New Love First Hero, takes place after episode 20. And the strange special, Avatar Sentai Don Brothers vs. Avatar Sento Don Burries, taking place after episode 44. After the series, 2023's Avatar Sentai Don Brothers vs. Zenkaiger. And then after that, 2024's Osama Sentai King Oger vs. Don Brothers. And now we've come to the most recently wrapped up series, the 47th Sentai, Osama Sentai King Oger. The theme, Kings and Kingdoms. The premise, on the planet Chikyu, five kingdoms are protected by their rulers. On the day the Bugnarok Empire reappear and attack the nations, the five kings will need to unite as the Osama Sentai. However, one of these rulers is not joining in on this plan. Perhaps a tyrant king is going to have to rise to defend Shiku. King Oger is one of the most serialized, heavy drama series of Sentai. It does have its comedy to break it up, but it is intended to be a grand epic of a show. The series lasted for 50 episodes between 2023 and 2024. To go alongside the series, there was a flashback special, The Secrets of King Raculous, taking place after episode 2 and showing events from prior to the series. The summer film, King Oger Adventure Heaven, takes place after episode 23. And I stress that that is probably the most important summer movie that's ever existed for Sentai, so don't wait to watch it till after the show. You gotta watch it after episode 23. It's very important. And after the series, there are two crossover movies. One being Osama Sentai King Oger vs. Don Brothers, and one being Osama Sentai King Oger vs. Kyoryuger. And that brings us to the new Super Sentai series. Sentai 48, Bakuage Sentai Boon Boomger. A racing car theme has been presented, and it should be interesting to see how the series progresses over the next year. This is the newest Super Sentai, and that's all the details I got for now. So that does it. That's your primer on the Super Sentai series. I know it sounds daunting. It's literally like 50-something shows. It's really a lot of stuff, but I hope I pared it down. I hope I made it easy. The biggest thing to remember when you're looking at what should I start with the Super Sentai, just pick one. You don't have to watch them in order. Every Sentai is separate from one another. While they have crossovers, yes, you can just watch those crossovers for the team you're watching if you want. You don't feel like you have to watch everything, but it is a lot of variety in this franchise and a lot of cool things. And I hope by telling you the premises and showing you the, the, the Rangers and the Mecha, that something caught your eye and you're like, maybe that's the one I want to start with. Like, just go out and pick a Sentai. Pick any of the 50 shows I talked about here and just go with it. Just jump in. Try it out. If you don't like it, stop and go watch another one. That's the coolest thing about Super Sentai. It's, it's interconnected, but it's interconnected the way that like comic books are, where you don't have to read everything. You just got to read the thing you're interested in. And so because Sentai is all about team effort, I do want to give a special thanks to people that helped me with these notes, including Psycho O's, Dark Claw 643, Fighter Cows, and Wheelchair 21. Really appreciate their help on this. I had to go through a lot of notes to get make sure I got everything and make sure I didn't miss anything and make sure everything was accurate. And I hopefully did a good job. If I screwed something up, leave me a comment. If you have questions, leave me a comment. Like I said, I didn't include every single special. I kind of included the important ones or the ones I deemed important. And hit the like button, the subscribe, and the notification bell if you haven't already. Uh, really appreciate the share this video around. If you've got anybody that's like, how do I get into Super Sentai? Show them this video. It's a quick, easy primer. So on that note, stay tuned for future videos. Check out our live streams on the channel Mondays at 5 p.m. Eastern. We talk about Tokusatsu, Super Sentai, all kinds of fun stuff. Check out our Discord server in the link below. We have a whole chat just for Super Sentai and all kinds of fun stuff there. Also check out the channel memberships. Hit the join button down below for more details. There's perks like early access to new videos. You can find my Austin awesome Graph Designer on social media and Discord at darkclaw 643 And you can also find Hero Club at HeroesClub.com for Tokusatsu news, interviews, and more. And until next time, this is Sign Out saying... Goodbye.